I'm Sheila Brummer with Siouxland Public Media News. The subject of school safety came up during Monday night's Sioux City School Board meeting. Superintendent Dr. Rod Earlywine says the Woodbury County Sheriff sent letters to area school districts after the deadly shooting in Nashville earlier in the day. Now is the time to remind everyone to report any suspicious persons or behaviors to local law enforcement. You know, if you, if you see something, say something. Sheriff Chad Sheehan told school leaders buildings need to be locked and teachers should even lock their classrooms during instruction time. It's a good start at creating a barrier between students and a potential threat. The school board also unanimously voted to approve a resolution supporting LGBTQ plus students in the district. Nebraska's Teacher of the Year says she's being bullied on social media by a member of the State Board of Education. Renee Jones is a Lincoln High School teacher and says that Kirk Penner, the vice president of the state board has been expressing his disdain for her since she was selected as teacher of the year in October. Jones posted on Twitter that because of Penner's past social media posts, someone asked me if my family was safe. And Kurt Penner is teaching Nebraskans that it's okay to bully, harass, and spread lies about people who do not share the same opinion as you. And after 181 years, Iowa Wesleyan University says it's closing its doors. This spring is the school's final semester in Mount Pleasant. The closure will leave 110 full-time employees out of a job. Its students not eligible for graduation will have to finish degrees elsewhere. The Board of Trustees cites numerous financial challenges, including Governor Reynolds' decision to reject the school's request for $12 million in federal American Rescue Plan dollars. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Sheila Brummer. Thanks for listening.